every guy looks good in a suit, right? Supposedly. I've got a suit. So let's put that theory to the test. Let's see if I'm sexy in a suit. Suppose I'll need to get undressed. Is anyone else feeling a bit cold? That might explain it. So I'll tell you about the first suit I had. I was six years old. It was for a wedding. I had sort of a blue shirt, shorts, and um, a clip-on tie. I remember the tie because it had sharks on it. That's not important, by the way. That's, that's nothing to this story. Anyway, this wedding, it was boring as shit. I mean, weddings are usually boring anyway, but this one, more boring than most. And then came the photographs, and the photographer. Well, let's just say I didn't like him. And because I didn't like this photographer... Give me a sec, I'll just button my shirt up. Because I didn't like this photographer, I decided that on every photograph I was in, I would stick my tongue out at him. Like that. Hmm? So nobody else notices I've done this. The photographer doesn't notice I've done this. Must have been a really shit photographer now I think about it if he didn't notice that. Anyway, he didn't notice. So, the photographs come back. And then everybody notices, because on every photograph I'm in, my tongue is sticking out. And yeah, I got in trouble for that one. Maybe that's the time I deserved it, but come on, the photographer was a dick. If he didn't notice when I was sticking my tongue out and said, hold on, stop that kid from sticking his tongue out, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Especially if you were a wedding photographer. I mean, this is supposed to be your big day, the happiest day of your life. And that photographer's letting a kid stick his tongue out. This suit I'm currently wearing right now, black pants, white shirt, black tie. I bought this towards the Christmas of my first year of university. It was for... what was it for now? I know what it was for. First Storm FM Christmas dinner. I'd done what? Three past forces by that point. I was on top of the world, everybody loved it. In fact, I should put that in the movie. In fact, no, there's no room for it in the movie. But yeah, I went round all the shops of Banga and I cobbled together this little number. It takes skill to do this, tying a tie like this. I learnt it in high school. One well, of the few things I did learn, actually. Some people say I tie a tie wrong. I don't know, I've never had a problem tying a tie like this. Five years of high school didn't do me wrong then. Yeah, so I went round all the shops of Bangor getting this suit sorted. I think I got... The jacket was from Burton's, the shirt from Debenham's, and maybe the trousers were the same too. You know what they say in the perks of being a wallflower? Every great writer needs a suit. I'm not wearing shoes, but I'm not bothering to put them on at the minute. Oh, belt. This belt's getting a bit grubby, actually. Oh, but I always forget there's another thing on these trousers. I know this is a cobbled together suit, and I should really get a proper tailored one, but hey, I'm fine with this. And every ensemble needs a good watch. I don't have a good watch at the moment, so I'll just use this this cheap fake one that someone bought me. Someone thought it was a really expensive, really nice watch, but yeah, it's actually a complete bollocks fake. Last time I wore this, it kept slipping off my wrist, so I put it in my pocket. Ah, there we go. Sort myself out, James. Pull it down. Boom! What do you think? 
Sexy or not? Yep, right, not. Cool. Whenever I tried to be funny as a child, I would always be shot down. I would always be cut in half. I was told to stop being stupid, to stop being silly. 